thanks for joining us today. I want to teach you how to draw a really cool animal. This animal jumps around. This animal mostly lives in Australia, but you've probably seen them at the zoo. We're going to learn how to draw kangaroos today. All right, friends, go ahead and grab a piece of paper to draw on. Um, any color will work today, and we want our paper to go horizontal, or the long way. And then you can grab your pen, or your pencil, or your marker, whatever you want to draw with. Today I wanted to try something different, and I'm going to draw with crayons. Just to change it up. It's kind of fun. Okay, so we are going to be drawing a kangaroo. And to start, you are going to draw your kangaroo's ear. So your ear is going to be kind of like a triangle or like the top of a capital A. I'm going to make a curved line up and then a curved line down. See? Kind of looks like an A if you were to put a line there. And then, a little bit up, we're going to make a really stretched out backwards S. So watch, I'm going to make kind of a big loop and then go down. Like that. Do you see how it's kind of like a backwards stretched out S? And then from that tip, I'm going to go down and in, like that. This is going to be your kangaroo's head and ear. And while we're at it, let's make another ear in the back. So we're going to go curved line up, curved line down again. Great. And then I'm going to take my black crayon and I'm going to make a little dot here. This is going to be my kangaroo's cute little nose. And we'll put that to the side. We'll use it again later. Next, I'm going to go right up here and I'm going to make a straight line down. Not too far. Just like that. That's good. And then I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to make a line going in because this will be your kangaroo's pouch. And then in the corner here, I'm going to make a curved line down, kind of like a J. There, curved line down. Now we left a space open here because that's where we're going to draw the baby kangaroo, the little Joey. All right, now I want to draw my kangaroo's back leg. They have very strong hind legs. And we're going to make the number two for your kangaroo's back leg. All right, maybe practice making a two. And then once you feel like you're ready, Go ahead. There, do you see my number two? And then I'm going to just connect this there so there's not a gap. And I wanna make the other part of the leg. So I'm going to see where I started my number two and lift my crayon up so there's a gap and leave a space. Then I'm going to make a straight line down and I'll go out a little bit and now I want to connect this. There. That looks like a very strong hind leg. And now we're going to make the other leg that's kind of in the back. So in the middle of my pouch here, I'm going to make a little line down and another little line down. And remember how this foot kind of went out? We're gonna do that down here. 
kind of goes out and then almost like a really stretched out oval. It kind of looks like your kangaroo is wearing shoes. Okay, nice job. Now I'm going to pick up my crayon and I'm going to actually go way back up here to where the bottom of my ear is. And I'm going to make a wavy line down. This will be the kangaroo's neck and back. Okay, you watch. Down for the neck and then I'm going to go out like that. Very good. And sometimes when I use crayons, I like to go over my lines again to make them really dark. It makes them kind of pop a bit. Now you can do that if you want or not. It's up to you. And let's see, now we need to finish with our kangaroo's tail. Okay, go back to his leg. And we're gonna make a little waved line up. And now his tail is going, well, actually it's a girl. Her tail is going to go up and down. She has a very strong tail. So I'm going to start up here and I'm gonna go up and then down. Very good. Great, great, great. Okay, now I picked another color brown, a little lighter brown, for the baby kangaroo in mommy's pouch here. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to start with the ear just like I did with the mama. So kind of in the middle here of my gap. I'm going to draw a very little curved line up, curved line down, just like we did for mommy's ear. And then same thing with the head, a backwards stretched out little letter S. There. And then I can make my other ear behind. And my head's going to go in like that, just like Mama Kangaroo's did. And then I want to put a line down here for his neck. And I can also add a little hand or a little paw. So right next to my kangaroo, baby kangaroo's neck, I'm going to draw kind of an oval and have it hang over the pouch. There, that's going to be my baby kangaroo's little hand sticking out. And then I can use my black crayon to make the nose. And then I'm going to make an eye here. And I'm going to make an eye on the other side so you can kind of see it. And maybe, maybe I'll do a little smile too. I have a very happy baby kangaroo. Okay, we're not quite done with mama yet. She needs some arms. So I'm going to pick up my darker brown again. And kind of in the middle of, his, of her neck, I'm going to draw a line that goes curved and to the side and down. And then out. Kind of looks like a sideways letter V. And then at the bottom there, I'm going to make it come up like that. That is my kangaroo's arm. And then we'll do that on the other side too. Kind of go out. Another little V and then back up. All right. I just need to add Mama Kangaroo's eye in the middle here, and I'll make another eye here. And Mama Kangaroo's also happy, so she's gonna be smiling. 
I can add some grass on the bottom. Kangaroos like to hop in the grass. So remember, grass can just be a lot of letter M's or W's. Whoops. And in the middle. There. And I can even add some curved lines at the end of the tail. That kind of makes us think that our kangaroo was hopping. Awesome. Now before I color it in, I just need to add my name in the corner. You did a very awesome job. Now you can go ahead and color.